with me today is the singing dog. Dawn is going to love him. Oh, hello, Joe. Oh, my goodness. Hello, everybody. Who is this? This is the singing dog. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. Oh, I love him. <laughs> it is great. Oh. Well, we need to open the advent oh, calendar yes, yes. early today. Yes, right. So, day number 18. 18. Oh, right, right children, can you see it? Can you see day number 18? Right down here. Oh, we have another key. We're going to have our okay. treat. We have our joke. Would you like to do the next part of the story? Yeah, Don't right. Know. So, the next part of the story is this. The visitors from the east went into the house, and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and presented them to Jesus. Wow. Look at the way the wise men responded when they finally found Jesus. They, Jesus, they worshipped him, and they gave gifts yeah, to They did, him. yeah. I've got them here, look. Gold. Oh. Frankincense Ooh. and myrrh. This kind of shows you something of what they yeah. would have looked like. They're not very practical presents, though, are they? No. What did people bring you when you were a baby? Oh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Always lots of chocolate. Yeah, love chocolate. And um, nappies mm -hmm. and baby clothes yeah, yeah. and meals. And me too, things like that. So why? Did the wise men bring Jesus these gifts? Well, they were the wise men. And, um, well, gold, let me pick it up here. Gold in the Bible is a symbol of royalty, of kingship. So the wise men, they understood that this little boy that they were seeing was no ordinary child. But he was going to be the king of kings. And then frankincense... Well, in the Bible, it's a symbol of prayer and of, of communication. So they understood that Jesus, the King of Kings, he'd come to the world to communicate to people. He'd come to people like you and me, mm. like you and me. He wanted to communicate with us. Oh. And myrrh is a symbol of death. This King, Jesus, had come to die. The shepherds understood this too. Mm. And the fact that the wise men brought gifts is probably one of the reasons why we give gifts to each other at Christmas time. Anyway, Joe, what is today's joke? Okay, let's have a look then. Why are Christmas trees very bad at knitting? Hmm. I don't know. Why are Christmas trees very bad at knitting? Because they always drop their needles. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. Well, so we've come to the end of another week, haven't we? But not only that, it's the end of term, which means it really is near Christmas. Yeah! So make sure you carry on tuning, to the, tuning into the Advent Calendar mm. on Facebook over the next week, right up until Christmas Eve. And don't forget, 4pm Christmas Eve, your whole family will be able to join in with the Chris Tingle service and that will be on Facebook and our YouTube channel. And you can collect your Chris Tingle service stuff in a bag from the church on the 23rd of December. And in the bag will be everything that you will need to make your very own Chris Tingle and join in with the service. And then during the service, everyone can like their Chris Dingles and we can put them in our windows. Wouldn't it look good if we looked out of our windows on Christmas Eve after 4pm and saw everybody's lit Chris Dingles mm, in their windows? It would be lovely. It would remind us that Jesus is the light of the world, especially now in what has been a bit of a dark yeah. year. But for now, it's time for Ooh. us to go. So have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Bye. Bye.